WATER15 and get 15% off on all ProPure systems at InfoWarsStore.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water for your preparedness storage or your home kitchen. Purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. We've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. We now take you live to the Central Texas Command Center in the heart of the resistance. You're listening to the Alex Jones Show. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. Now, Ron Paul is always a fascinating interview, and this week Alex Jones talked to him about a variety of current events. We knew you'd want to hear the highlights. Here they are. Ladies and gentlemen, we are joined by the Omnibudsman, the granddaddy of the modern constitutional libertarian movement, and his son is the U.S. Senator from Kentucky in all major polls, the front runner to be the Republican nominee. And, of course, that's Rand Paul, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, former Congressman Ron Paul uh, joins us here today to cover the waterfront. Thank you for coming on, sir. He also, of course, has ronpaulchannel.com, launching his own powerful multimedia TV uh, print radio system. I'm on affiliates all over the country that carry his daily commentaries, and so I am able to hear those when I'm a guest. Very exciting uh, to see Ron Paul and many others like Jesse Ventura starting their own media operations. This will fully overthrow the old dinosaur media system that's already discredited itself. Uh, Dr. Paul, out of the gates, Fort Hood situation. Our reporters last night talked to the commanding general. The video's on DrudgeReport.com. Uh, they confirmed he was on uh, psychotropic drugs and Ambien. We're now learning he was on multiple drugs. What is your take on that as a medical doctor? Well, obviously, I think the drugs have a major role to play in this. Almost all 
the time, whether there's high school shootings or wherever this occurs, that they're uh, receiving this government-directed care for uh, psychological problems and neuropsychotropic drugs. It's happening all the time. So that's the immediate thing that crosses my mind when, when I hear of this. And then when you hear of it being uh, related to government and military and veterans, you can be guaranteed that they're getting the wrong kind of treatment. So medically, I think it's, uh, you know, that the diagnosis is wrong, the treatment is wrong, and we participate. We may take one thing and make it worse. I think what, what's happened is they, uh, they, they look at these terrible acts, and yet they're merely a symptom of something else. And I think they never look for the cause. Why do people come back from war uh, with, with this uh, post-traumatic stress disorder uh, and also the many brain injuries? Well, it's the war. It, it, it's the war that, that's going on there. And then when you think about, well, in medicine, you know, we're, we want to pre prevent diseases. But in politics, it doesn't seem like they want to prevent the harm done because, you know, if you don't want these kind of problems, why don't we have a different foreign policy? You know, this is a consequence. So they create the conditions to jeopardize all these young people. They come back. They can't get jobs. They become depressed. We put them on drugs. We make them a lot worse. And, uh, and we don't change our, our foreign policy. We compound it. We create the we create the problem, then give them drugs and make it worse, and then everybody is just totally shocked. Oh, how could this how could this happen? You know, and uh, fortunately, it's not happening more. I think they've created conditions uh, which are so so terrible. But the real tragedy when we hear about the killings and all, but what about the hundreds of thousands now who are suffering, and they're just falling. You know, talk about falling through the cracks. These people are out on the streets and. And they're begging for treatment, and and yet my big beef is they never look at the cause. You know, during the campaign, we used to talk about uh, I emphasize this whole thing of, of blowback. Maybe maybe we have a, a problem with terrorism, war on terrorism, because we have a deeply flawed foreign policy, and there is blowback. No, they're, they're not going to talk about that, and they're not going to talk about wars that make no sense. And uh, that, of course, is what I would think is the important thing. Otherwise, we're going to have this problem for a long time to come. It's probably still going to cost us trillions of dollars doing the wrong thing. Well, you're an Air Force veteran, and, of course, uh, during the Vietnam era, you you saw a lot of duty there. Back, back even during Vietnam, they only made him serve one or two tours. Uh, one of my grandfathers, uh, after he served his uh, 22 flights in the Army Air Corps over Europe, was on the ground in Italy and was shaken for his whole life by the starving Italian children and the horrors he saw uh, in Italy and the rest of Europe. That was uh, just two years in the U.S. Army. Uh, and my other grandfather was uh, affected by World War II and a crash he was in, both of them in the Army Air Corps. I, I just can't imagine these guys, many of them, more than 10 tours of combat now. I don't think anybody mentally can handle that. No, and that is a big thing. That is different, uh, even though these wars are seen as not nearly as violent as the other ones. World War killed hundreds of thousands, in, you know, and Vietnam killed a lot more. But a lot of people went, and a lot of people were injured and uh, damaged, and, uh, and, and it's more than anybody ever imagined. And they went back and forth so often. They actually ended up in uh, these, these recent wars with more days in duty and, and worrying about what mine they're going to start step on and get and, and get blown up. But then there's the addition, uh, even though this, this problem existed in World War One and Two, but it wasn't generally talked about, it talked about now, but there's a lot more of it, and some people would think, well, uh, maybe, uh, maybe it has to do with the way we go to war. Um, you would think maybe it would have been a lot easier to adjust if you were knowing that you were fighting Hitler, and, uh, you know, this was a really, really important war to win. But now, I think this compounds the uh, stress disorder, is when deep down in their heart, I think a lot of them realize that this was all, you know, just wasted time and wasted life and wasted money, and uh, it, uh, and, and if they can't face that, then I think they harbor those uh, deep feelings, and, and that contributes to it, and then all of a sudden, the doctor says, well, give him a pill.
heal, you know. And well, that's right. It's going to make them feel better. And again, you're a medical doctor and a veteran yourself, so you can speak directly to this, but that was well known after World War II, that if someone thought a war was just, you didn't have as many mental problems. But right. if you don't think it's just, you have serious problems. And it was the Nazis that pioneered drugging their troops with amphetamines and uh, proto-psychotropics. So our military is following uh, what the Nazis did. Yeah. But, you know, whether the war is just or not, what if you uh, are thinking about maybe this is unjust and then you suppress those feelings, you don't express them. It's suppression of some of these horrible thoughts. I cannot believe our government would be, you know, do this. You mean that this was all uh, wasted life? This was all done in vain? That is pretty hard to face up. What if you lost a loved one? Isn't it very natural for you want to make them a hero and say, well, he, he didn't die in vain. His life wasn't wasted. He, you know, he died as a great uh, protector of the Constitution. And, you know, and so you have to suppress those feelings. And I think that is where the, 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 uh, the whole problem is compounded. And then they, then they go to the doctor for a pill, uh, and that makes the whole problem that much worse. That's right. Uh, former Congressman Ron Paul is our guest right now. They're on screen. RonPaulChannel.com. Excellent news, media, and liberty-based analysis with a truth bias. If they like to tell the truth, it's, it's the opposite of the dinosaur media. Briefly, dinosaur media's numbers are dropping about 24% a year, uh, according to Nielsen. At this rate, uh, MSNBC, CNN will have less than 100,000 viewers within two years. Uh, one of our affiliates... Uh, has ratings of over 100,000 uh, listeners in three hours, uh, Congressman. What do you predict is going to happen when when my show has three million and the Ron Paul channel has millions and Drudge Report has 10 million a day and all this? What are they going to do? We're already the real media. What is the system going to do uh, to counter this? Well, you, they make efforts, you know, they uh, try to think that they're competing by having a website and, you know, they can go watch videos and this sort of thing. But the, the business is going to change, you know, um, I think the radio business will change uh, and they're going to go more to independent radios and webcasting and all these other things and podcasting. Uh, Market based. Well, hopefully they're all put out of business. Yes. But, but, but the, the, the tragedy will be is, uh, you know, in a totalitarian country, and we have a little bit of this here where the government has to subsidize the media. So you might see it might get much worse, even though it's bad already, uh, even though it will not give us news and the people won't want it, but they'll rec the people will recognize it. But who knows? It might mean that uh, the taxpayer is going to be forced to pay for some of that stuff because I think the advertisers who still can make a market choice won't do it. They're going to go to uh, the different sites to uh, advertise and target their advertisement. That's why this is so attractive to so many of the people who are trying to sell products uh, on the air. I agree with you, though. They're going to pure state-run financed media uh, to counter us in trying to censor the new media, trying to censor web freedom. Alex Jones going to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies 
worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. For a limited time, use the promo code WATER.